Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the smart search feature with Reillusion products that makes it easier to find and access the assets you want, making your production more speedy and efficient. Let's start off by adding a quick character to our scene and getting her set up with some clothing. To find female clothing more easily, we can type female in the search field. I can access the deep search tool from the drop down menu, or find options for text search, image search, and similar search. You can also find the same search options from the plugin menu under smart search. There is also a deep search window, and you'll also find it conveniently on the toolbar. Deep search also allows you to use different languages to search. Let's try a quick text search example first, including the item we're searching for and description. This will bring up a number of individual items, including characters, clothing, objects, and more, which are part of packs since we have the pack tab selected. You can also find individual items in the individual tab. You can also choose specific categories along the left side to further refine your search. If we go into clothing, you'll notice that a number of subcategories appear. We can then enter an even more specific description of what we're looking for to further refine our results. These results will include assets from the Reillusion store that you own, and also ones that you don't own but are available for trial, indicated by the green trial banner at the bottom of the thumbnail. If you already own the asset, you'll see a green check mark in the top right indicating that you've already downloaded it. A green cloud will show up for both owned and trial items, indicating that it hasn't yet been downloaded. You can double click the thumbnail to download, after which you'll be taken to the item's location in the content manager, where you can enter into the pack and easily apply one of the tops. If a thumbnail doesn't have any of the aforementioned icons, it means that it hasn't been purchased and also doesn't offer a trial version. Double clicking in this case will take you to the product page. When you download a trial asset, it will show up in your content manager under the trial category. Note that whenever you apply a trial asset to your scene, a watermark will appear. Okay, let's give the image search a try. With image search, you can drag images from a website, paste from your clipboard, or enter a URL. Let's try searching for some women's jeans first. I can open the image in a new tab and simply drag it over to the deep search field, and you'll immediately see a number of results pop up. In the filters, I can select trial only to show only assets that haven't been purchased yet, then download a jeans pack and apply a pair to my character. Naturally, you can also search for any assets in the content store and drag the URL to deep search as well, which will bring up that pack. This particular pack actually includes a fully clothed character model, which I can again bring into my scene after downloading a trial version. Next, let's try a scenario using the Deep Search Similar option. You can access this search option by right-clicking on any asset in your content manager and choosing it from there. You can see we get plenty of results when looking for similar furniture to our chair here. We can download this trial chair here and replace the one in our scene. You can also deep search similar by right clicking on items directly in your viewport. We can use this method to find another table option and replace the one we currently have in our scene. Finally, for a quick image search based on a screenshot, you can use the Windows plus Shift plus S hotkey for a quick screen capture 
and then Control v to paste it in the image search window. We can then give our dude a new hairdo from the selected results. Okay, let's look at the keyword search option next. With keyword search, you can search based on tags as well as the author of the asset. You'll also find searching based on a specific motion to be useful, and Reillusion's library contains thousands of motions suitable for a wide variety of scenarios. You can right click on any result and find more information about it. This is where you'll find the author's name as well as any assigned tags. Let's type in sofa to find some motions we can apply to our characters to have them sit on the sofa. Again, we can look under items for individual motions instead of full packs. I'll apply this first seated motion to our male character, and then another one to our female. Note that the thumbnails will normally give a good preview of the motion, and the name will often be a good indicator of what type of character it's suitable for. And just like that, we have a scene full of new trial content that looks great. Once you're satisfied with your scene, we can move on to purchasing. In the Scene Manager, any trial assets that you have in your scene will be listed in purple. Under Help, you also have an option to view unpurchased items, which will bring up a window listing them all, along with their file type and if they are part of a pack or an individual item. You can also click on View the Store Items, which will open up the respective product pages for your items. This can be the Marketplace, Content Store, or Actor Core Store. From there, simply check out like you normally would, and the assets are now yours. Now to get rid of that pesky watermark in your scene. To do so, simply choose Activate Purchased Items from the Help menu. This will refresh your scene manager and get rid of the watermark. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you find the smart search features useful and we look forward to seeing your future projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.